was incarcerated for 17 years. In 2009, um, I hit rock bottom. It was my third attempt for suicide. It was 1971, it was the height of the Vietnam War, and um, you know the inner cities were flooded with heroin. So I don't want to say it was like all peer pressure, but there were just some social determinants that made me a candidate for drug use. I was working in the fashion industry. There was sort of a, a social acceptability almost around drugs in general. So different era, um, it was sort of 90s heroin chic and grunge music and that whole scene. I got to a point with my drug use that my you know, kind of go-to was I would get extremely depressed. I would say, you know, at least once a month I was contemplating suicide. I'm a second generation Chinese American, which means that my parents immigrated here to the U.S. And so at home, mental health is very taboo. It's not talked about at all. I don't even know the word for it in Chinese, actually. And Chinese was my first language. After college, I thought to myself, what organization do I want to be a part of? And I immediately thought of RAMS because of the impact it, it had on me growing up. I just thought, you know, I'm going to take a class at City College just to kind of do something, you know, different. I took Introduction to Addiction and Recovery Counseling course. At the end of it, I had to do an internship, and that's how I came to know RAMS. I had a friend in recovery tell me about RAMS and the Peer Certificate Program. One of the things that had really come up in my journey of 12-step was that I wanted to give back to the community. RAMS actually gave me an opportunity to work because I wanted to work in the same type of field and make the same difference. The Peer Program is a group of individuals who are uniquely qualified to understand and assist and support other people who have similar experiences. A street crisis response team, which is composed of a paramedic, a clinician, and a peer support specialist, come out engaged with people who are having mental health crises. When I was doing my peer internship, I was going around co-facilitating dual recovery support groups at various agencies and programs around the city. I had no idea that I could have a career based on you know my personal lived experience with mental health and substance use. You know that that was actually valuable. And at some point you notice that relationship between the peer support and the client starts to grow, starts to build trust, and they start improving. What recovery meant for me, it wasn't just stopping the addiction of hurting myself, stopping my pills. I had to heal within, and that meant having another human being caring for me. In college, I studied more about public health and specifically in mental health and communities. And I was able to explore more of my identity because it plays hand in hand with my mental health. You know, in the continuum of care, it's kind of what's been missing. Like I know for myself, I was really, really lonely. You know, I spent all the time with just me and my dogs. So having a peer, it's sort of like having someone who is a friend. You can kind of be a mentor in some ways. You know, you can show them that there is hope. I ran into somebody who was a former client that I'd worked with in residential treatment, and they were doing their job. They recognized me and just gave me a big hug and just, I told that person, I'm so proud of you. Look at what you're doing now, giving back to your community. And they said to me, you had a lot to do with that. When I hear that, that's just everything. Mental health services and access to services are important not only to me, but really to everyone. It's so important for people to be able to have someone to talk to, find a path to wellness and recovery, and to break down the stigma that the whole community has. People need uh, long-term mental health support, housing, of course, job training, education. So resources are essential, and there's just not enough of them. I have been homeless. I have been in the street. I'm a person who was incarcerated. I got out. So I know that I'm here today by someone allowing me a second chance. Peers are breaking barriers. Peers are uniquely empathetic. Peers are uncommon heroes. Peers are vital and essential. Peers are necessary.